You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash, everyone. I'm Jonathan Jackson, and my guest on the show this week is Rabbi Goldberg, the founder of Kids Kicking Cancer, a finalist on the CNN Heroes program, and a father figure to hundreds of kids who have been diagnosed with cancer. So Rabbi Goldberg, or should I say Rabbi G, thank you for being here today. My great pleasure. So Rabbi, tell me a little bit about Kids Kicking Cancer. When was it founded and how did you come up with this? Kids Kicking Cancer began officially in 1999, but it goes back to my first teacher in this world who was our daughter. Our child was diagnosed with ALL with leukemia in 1980, at a time where leukemia was not the very treatable disease it is today for children. And um, she was an amazing little girl at two years old. She told the doctors at UCLA, no medication today, please, and tell the five-year-old kids not to cry. A number of years after she passed away, our, um, I was directed to become the head of a camp of kids for ki with cancer. And, um, came upon this five-year-old child in the infirmary who was having his port access for his chemo. Yeah, right. And he was screaming, and he was, two nurses were holding him down. The third nurse had a large syringe to plunge into his chest. And yeah. I was the camp director, but it was so counterintuitive. I just yelled, wait. And they all stopped. Even the kids stopped screaming. And they looked at me, and I didn't have a clue what I was going to say next. And I just said to the nurses, give me, give me five minutes with this child. And the nurse was happy to leave, and the little boy looked at me like I was the governor I just stayed his execution and I told this child you know I'm a black belt it doesn't mean much little kid it's a wow so I asked him can I teach you some karate I almost jumped off the table oh my goodness. and I explained to him in the martial arts you learn that pain is a message you don't have to listen to you get breathe in this amazing energy and push out the pain five minutes later we're doing a simple Tai Chi breathing technique 20 minutes later they took the needle out and he looked at the nurse and he said did you do it yet <laughs> And that's when Kids Kicking Cancer was born. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, all about martial arts is teaching you how to breathe properly. In it's order breath, to, it's yeah, empowerment, it's, it's yeah. meditative, it's a focus. Mm -hmm. And because the kids believe in the martial arts, we can get into their heads quickly, yeah. and we can now evidence, based on medical science, mm -hmm. that we are lowering these children's pain. Unbelievable. That's very, un that, that's unbelievable. I mean, you, you yourself, you've studied the martial arts for many years now, and now you're passing it on to these kids. Now, the, the, the things you're teaching them, though, it's not, you know, not mostly the, the fun. The not, there's no context. Except, there's zero yeah, contact. It's, it's really about breathing in that light, pushing out the darkness, and the children have a mantra, power, peace, purpose, mm -hmm. that they can bring in this energy, push out pain, fear, and anger, we ask the thousands of kids that we worked with through the years, what's your purpose they allow to teach the world? Mm -hmm. We actually bring our little kids to adults. So yeah. we teach children, we teach adults. Just with adults, we talk slower. Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> these kids, they get in their karate uniforms. Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, I brought a group of our kids from Sloan Kettering to teach Pfizer executives mm -hmm. how to breathe in the light and blow out the darkness. The kids always get a standing ovation. 97% of the adults we train describe it as having a profound impact on the stress in their lives. Mm. But the impact on the children is that they know their teachers. Three days later, they called me from Pfizer, Italy, when I come to Rome to teach Pfizer there how to do it. Wow. And they got so into the program that they this sponsored our first program at the Vatican Children's Hospital, which I thought was really cool that an Orthodox rabbi needed permission from the Pope's office to it's teach an to Eastern meditative technique to Vatican children. Exactly. And today we're starting our 10th hospital in Italy. It's amazing. This is spreading all over the world. It's, it's, it's great. And you've also written a book about it. Uh, but in fact, this book I have right here called A Perfect God Created an Imperfect World Perfectly. A little bit of a tongue twister if you say it fast, but it has a very good message in it. And you, you told me there are many lessons within this book, about 30 you said? There are 30 lessons, yeah. and each lesson has an audio meditation where you could actually listen to a meditation inspired by the kids. But every time somebody downloads a meditation, the numbers go up in front of our children, letting them know that they're teaching the world. Mm -hmm. So people can learn to live longer, but actually they are our kids to have less pain. And it's available on Amazon.com. If you just look up Eli Melech Goldberg, you'll see it. <laughs> yeah, or Rabbi. Yeah, yeah, Rabbi G. I like this. This is very good. And the kids, too, this is one more thing, too, like about the whole process of breathing in, meditation, relaxing. You're helping thousands of kids around the world to the point where you even have some students who are now teachers today. Can you tell me about that? Absolutely. Well, actually, every one of our children becomes a teacher immediately. We have them teach their parents, doctors, and nurses. Well, we started in 1999 mm -hmm. with a young man, Michael Hunt, who had a terrible tumor on his side. They actually 
actually take out some of his his ribs. Oh my goodness, yeah. And they his mom asked, you know, what's gonna be when he gets taller? Basically the doc said you don't have to worry about it. He wasn't gonna live that long. So <laughs> today, eighteen years later, he's still teaching for us. He's doing great. But when he comes into a room and the people say, I can't do it, I have a rhabdomyer sarcoma, he looks and then so did I. <laughs> and here, let's show, let me show you why I needed less pain medication because of this. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Once again, that, that whole process, it's giving them peace. Power, uh, peace, peace, purpose. All right. Well, thank you so much, Rabbi G. I appreciate you for being here today and sharing your message with us. My great pleasure. Thank you for having me. Once again, everybody, Rabbi G, uh, the book is called A Perfect Guide Created an Imperfect World Perfectly. You can pick it up at, on Amazon.com and uh, continue to support his great organization and all the work that he's doing. So thanks again, Rabbi. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3 The Lakes FM.